Uh, welcome. This is the January 4th, 2024 Mass Massachusetts Pirate Party membership meeting. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here. Uh, my name's James O'Keefe, uh, current captain, resident of Somerville. Uh, also here are... Steve Revelak, Arlington. Chris Fonorowski of Lowell. Thank you. So why don't we just start with reports? Um, we uh, are in the middle of, um, uh, well, we, we put out, uh, let's see, the form for uh, supporters to um, either put their, throw their, um, throw their hats in the ring for our officer elections or participate in the winter conference and choose its time uh, and other stuff are up. Um, an email has been sent about those. There'll be another one that'll go out with any luck tomorrow. Um, the We had a post about public domain day and our post about the our statement on uh, the Israel-Gaza conflict uh, has went up two weeks ago. So uh, that's my that's that's my update. Do you have any updates, Joe? Well, I would very much like to say thank you, Jamie. You've been covering quite a few of my duties of late um, with everything going on with me and what's going on. I, I really do appreciate it. That being said, the post of treasurer is going to be up for grabs. I would like to see as many candidates as possible and really find somebody who would continue keeping the bank account rolling forward. I know Steve does a lot of in-kind contributions. Thank you, Steve. I know in you as well, Jamie. So, I mean, I appreciate it. And I really, really, really would like somebody with some good skills to keep this ball going. I do have all the reports um, and all the bank statements and everything and all that ready to be transferred as soon as we find somebody eligible. Um, it's just not in the cards for me moving forward in the future. When are we doing our elections? Um, sometime after the winter conference. So probably early February at the latest. Um, that being said, uh, the bank account is is looking good. It is looking like it's continuing to grow. I know I contributed some last-minute funds at the end of last year. Um, and that donation button is working, as far as I know. And we have roughly how, how much? 2700 3000 something like that? Uh one million dollars <laughs> if only eventually perhaps <clears throat> um all right as steve do you have any updates uh no, no updates for me okay thanks all right so moving on as i said the acl as I said before we started, um, the ACLU is looking for organizations to endorse the Location Shield Act. Um, they have a, a page for groups to endorse. Um, there is... Anyways, uh, this is the problem with... Um, Essentially, it's um, preventing the sale of cell phone location data, which, as far as I can tell, <laughs> is, is something that we're for. So, um, uh, yeah, I have that total we... for you, Jamie, not to bounce around, but our total funds available are 2000 
So you were right. Cool. Um, but, you know, so employers, foreign governments, the police, um, <laughs> domestic abusers cannot just purchase data. Um, you know, we know certainly the, the police and FBI will go and just purchase data and get around, purchase where people have been rather than go and get a warrant and actually have a judge review it and say yay or nay. Um, and they can get around this by instead just buying it because there's any number of places that will gather your location data on you. Yeah, so. there's, you know, one of the sort of like the funny things that came to mind was um, uh, video rental data, not that people really rent videos anymore, but video rental data is, you can't sell that either. The, you know, the Video Privacy Protection Act. Why? Because um, somebody got borked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a, 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 a reference to, uh, I think he was a Supreme Court justice called, named Robert Bork, but apparently... Um, he, thankfully, he was, he, was, he was a nominee. He was not he was a, a nominee. Nom nominee, but apparently, uh, apparently he had a, had a, his um, you know, rental records were, I guess, interesting. <laughs> Enough that Congress a lot of a lot of does said. Dallas, perhaps. Or? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but um, uh, anyway, so so looking at this, it, you know, it, it prohibits companies from selling, leasing, trading, renting location data. It requires companies to obtain consent before collecting or processing location data, which you know I have a feeling is. It's going to be opt out type of thing, but you know the way the way we see with so many cookie policies um, or legitimate purposes pur purposes such as providing requested services to customers, responding to emergencies, complying with state and federal law. So, well, this is sort of funny. The um, a couple uh, over the holidays, I happen to misplace my phone. No idea where it went, so I had to get a new one. And the new phone, it's a, it's a dumb flip phone, but it's got a, it still you know is 4G capable and it has a little web browser. And I was you know checking out the app permissions, and it's like yeah, the web browser doesn't need to, need you know on demand access to location data. So let's turn that off. Web browser refuses to launch. It says, no, I need this. <laughs> well, so it's like, okay, we'll turn it, turn that on. But, you know, the phone itself has sort of like a master use location, you know, enable GPS and location data. You just turn that off and things are fine. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a good, I, I, you know, coming from the ACLU, I'm inclined to trust them. And I, I think this is the sort of thing that, um, yeah, I, I, I'm supportive partially because, you know, the like the ACLU's sort of like brochure says, it's it tells a lot about you. And secondly, people don't understand who the who data brokers are and how much and how exact and how exactly much they collect. Ain't that the truth? Joe, thoughts? I've often found myself in agreement with most of the stuff coming out of the ACLU, and I can say that this particular piece is no different. Um, generally, when it comes to fighting for those who can't speak for themselves, the ACLU have long since been champions. Um, and, you know, I, I've rarely come across a piece that the ACLU wasn't fighting for which didn't make total sense for all of us. So, you know, stopping data brokers and stopping the breaking the the Fourteenth Amendment or the Fourth Amendment. I, I don't even know which amendment it is at this point because I'm so tired. But it's the fourth. But you're right. <laughs> but yes, excuse me. Yes. Technically, yeah. it's. Uh... You know, this is more like putting not the. F I, I think this would be covered under third-party doctrine, but I still think it's worth putting a lease on. 
<laughs> Ain't that the truth? I mean, since we really don't have a true pri privacy policy. <laughs> anyway, so uh, uh, all in favor of endorsing it, say aye. 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 Seeing there's no one else, motion passes. Great. I'll fill out the form and uh, notify the ACLU. Um, um, can we also send it to the national? Yeah. Yeah, I can send it to national. This is a, this is just as Massachusetts law. Um, but it's not like a, the, what I was thinking sorry, was something on. like was something like this should probably be encoded into um, our general policies on a national level. Okay. I will send it there then. Uh, do you have any U.S. Pirate Party issue updates? Uh, no. The, the last couple of meetings were pretty silly. Okay. So, um, they were talking about endorsements, but we didn't endorse anybody. Um, and then there were some some staff changes, but nothing nothing too crazy or, you know. Okay. Thank you. So uh, for 2020, planning for 2024, we've got the Democracy Kitty, uh, Committee, not Kitty, at this, <laughs> at this uh, channel, um, at, at this uh, Big Blue Button instance, uh, this Saturday uh, noon, I think was the time. Um, yes. Great. Uh, so I think a notice went out about that. If not, there'll be another one tomorrow. Um, and we can talk about what we need to do there uh, in terms of tech issues and whatever things we need to update um, or other apps we need to build or install. Uh, the winter conference, again, the forms are out. The conference page hasn't been updated, and I've been derelict in not putting up the previous conference recording, so I better get on that. Um, and then we're still scheduled for Pirate News on Sunday the 7th after the deluge of snow that is supposedly coming our way. Uh, one challenge with the, the podcast or the newscast this Sunday is when I will be doing a move. I'm hoping to be done and back before everything is said and done, but um, there's a possibility that I might be delayed, and I will let okay. everyone. I I hope you can make it. Um, if you need, if if Steve's schedule is amenable, um, we could push it back if necessary. Okay. Um, the good news is I do have my main computer and finally a spot to set it up. So that's a silver lining in all of this. Um, that would be nice because my my live streaming current my current setup isn't working, and I don't have the new setup working or isn't doesn't stream effectively at a high enough bit rate. So <laughs> you know, I don't even think we're I think we're, I don't even think we're at seven twenty p there. <laughs> so it would be good if uh, someone else is more powerful and probably cheaper box could handle that so yeah actually um maybe i can just build you a pc too um well, no I've, I've i've got something it's just it's just getting obs set up i just can't quite get the audio working um actually i think i might sort of have the audio working but i it, it i get some echo going from one system to another i don't know working on it i guess i can turn off I don't know. I'll figure it out. Right. So uh, with that, uh, is there any other topics to discuss? Yes, I wish this all to be a very piratey new year. I hope that we all are going to have the best year ever and that we actually get some really good candidates running for our offices this year. Well, that is our task for the next month or two. <laughs> yep. I look forward to that as well. Um, okay. Well, 
I, I hope everyone has a wonderful, happy, had a happy new year and has a happy new year. Um, thank you, Joe. So with that, uh, do we want to end the meeting? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. And the green. All right, with that, <laughs> keep talking over each other, Joe. Sorry. Um, with that, thanks, folks, for watching this. I'll upload this probably on Friday, January 5th before the snow uh have a wonderful snowy weekend hope to see you on the 7th uh it you know public domain day just happened mickey mickey's in the public domain and as steve pointed out our activist email list there's already going to be a mickey mouse horror film coming out yeah there's a slasher movie in the works <laughs> the mouse is out <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not animated. That was the only problem. Like, I really feel like it. If it was Mickey, the true essence would be animating it. But, anyways, uh, nice to know. Um, so we might we might go and play some uh, uh, fun fun new public domain uh, music or something like that. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Look for links and descriptions and all of that. <laughs>